Maintainer Month, Microsoft Build updates, some great open source projects, and a pick of the week that will take you into the danger zone. All that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to another episode of The Download. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Developer Advocate at GitHub. And um, you might have noticed that this looks a little bit different. I'm not in a studio. I do not have a green screen. I'm actually in Atlanta, Georgia for Render ATL. Uh, my good friend Helen is recording for me. Shout out, Helen. Um, I think the audio should be pretty good. We'll see what editor Matt can do with it. But anyway, that's that's why this is how it is. I'm also repping TLC today because Atlanta. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe uh, the, the channel and the video down below because that helps us out. But we've been gone for two weeks. So let's just get into the latest developer news and open source stuff that's been happening. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is that it is June now, which means that it is maintainer month. And maintainer month is really awesome. It's something that GitHub is really involved in. And it's basically, a time to celebrate and learn and you know just discuss the topics that happen within maintainers and open source communities offering guides and resources there are a ton of events that are planned around maintainer month uh, both in person yay uh, but also virtual and there's actually a website maintainermonth.github.com uh, you can see the full schedule of all the things that are happening there. If you have something from your community that you'd like to add, just uh, file a PR and you can put that up on the website. Links in the show notes and description down below. I also want to point out that I was on One Password's uh, Random But Memorable podcast this uh, past week talking about Maintainer Month and how companies can help with open source. And that's linked down below too. So good stuff. All right, so uh, last week we were off, but Microsoft Build was on. So I wanted to talk about some of the highlights from that developer conference. And again, in the show notes in the description down below, I've got links of, of all the big things, uh, but I wanna cover a couple of things. So the first thing is on the GitHub side. So this was, I guess we could call it maybe a little bit of kind of like scooplet news. Um, basically, uh, code, uh, GitHub uh, Copilot, which is like AI pair programming, it's a, an extension for VS Code and for NeoVim and for JetBrains, and it's awesome. It uses AI to make you a better programmer, make things faster. Um, that is going to be going GA sometime this summer. And we don't know when, but stay tuned to this space because we will definitely be talking about it when it happens. In addition to that, it was announced that uh, GitHub uh, Copilot will be free for students and for contributors to open source. So that's great. And uh, like I said, stay tuned because we will have more details on this in the coming weeks. The next thing I wanted to talk about out of build was uh, the finally speaking of GA, uh, .NET MAUI, which is the, uh, like the .NET like multi-user app interface uh, framework basically the successor to Xamarin was finally released. It's finally GA. It's, this has been in the works for a long time. And this is actually a really important uh, part of the whole unification of the .NET ecosystem that's been going on for multiple years. And um, basically using .NET MAUI, you can use one code base to create apps for iOS, Android, uh, Windows, Mac, the web, all from one code base, all with native UI and controls. It's really cool. One thing I did wanna point out is that if you wanted to get started, with .NET MAUI, uh, James Montenegno has a fantastic uh, course, both on his YouTube channel, which we've got linked below, and all the resources and guides are on GitHub. It's like four hours long, it's a great workshop. He takes you through step-by-step -step how to build a .NET MAUI app from scratch. It's really great, that's linked down below, really good stuff. So uh, the final bit of Microsoft Build News that I wanna talk about, just real quick shout out, the um, Azure Static Web Apps CLI also went GA. And Azure Static Web Apps is a great way if you want to uh, very inexpensively host a lot of static content, you can just have stuff in a GitHub repo. And as soon as there's a change, it'll immediately uh, push and, and build on Azure. There's now a CLI tool, which will make local development even easier. So you can play around with your configurations and test things out. You can have things in your local dev environment. And then from the command line, just immediately push things up and, and publish directly to Azure. So that's really, really great. And uh, congrats to the team on that. Links again down below. Next, speaking of the command line, I wanna give a huge shout out to Sam Levine who created an insanely useful command line tool called Video Grep. And this is so cool. It makes it really easy to make supercuts. And if you're not familiar, like a supercut is where you'll have every instance that a person or persons have said a word or phrase uh, at, in one video kind of cut into one um, supercut of it. It's great. 
Matt has created a tool called uh, Video Grip, which will make it easy to do that from the command line. So basically, you download a video, you apply the, the um, transcription files to it, it searches through the transcription files and then makes edit points and creates one video based on your parameters. The demo that he has is super slick. Check it out. Experience, experience, experiences, and experiences, experience, experiences, experience, experiences, experiences, experiences. His how-to guide is really good. I love this so much. It's on GitHub. Sam, thank you very much. I'm going to commit to the audience to creating the super cut of every time I say links in the show notes and description down below, which has been many hundreds of times. Um, it's not next week and the week after. So stay tuned for that. And also links in the show notes and the description down below. All right, and now it is time for my pick of the week. So I don't know how many of you have been able to see the new Top Gun uh, Maverick film in theaters right now. It's great. I had such a good time. I saw it over the weekend. Genuinely, it was almost my pick of the week without anything else. I was just like, please go give Paramount and Tom Cruise more money. Not that they need it, but like give it to them. But then this thing dropped and I had to talk about it. So. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator has a new add-on pack that's free for Top Gun Maverick, and it adds in some libraries that have, I guess, like the Top Gun theme, and there are some uh, challenges and some training missions and certain uh, uh, planes from uh, the film in the game. It's free, it's awesome. If you haven't played Flight Simulator, you should. It's amazing. If you have Xbox Game Pass, it's free on that. Anyway, I think this is great. Uh, as I said at the top of the show, it's gonna take you into the danger zone a little bit, and Really fun movie too. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite movie this summer has been so far. And also go ahead and let us know any thoughts on any of the other uh, stories that we covered and what you think of the remote setup. You know, it, is this passable? Does this work? I might have a portal green screen. I don't know. Do all the things. But um, that's gonna do it for me this week. As I said before, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and a sub. Uh, you know, share it with your friends on Twitter, remix it on TikTok or whatever it is that everyone does. Do all those things. And uh, so keep us uh, subscribed to uh, the GitHub YouTube channel for all your nerd needs. See you next time.